I would suggest if someone is building a system with Linux in mind, just build it with an AMD card. I get the people who buy, like, I NVIDIA cards. Like, NVIDIA does, right now, make better cards, on, especially on, like, the top end. Um, but if you're building a system specifically knowing that it is going to be a Linux system, AMD, and maybe Intel, depending on how these desktop cards go in the future... May I know the initial stuff wasn't doing super great, but AMD or potentially Intel is where you should be going. Just going to say one thing about AMD. I know they work. I, I have an AMD card in this yep, system. Yep. It's not an AMD card. It's an HD Radeon HD 16 oh, or 50. Yeah, okay, or... a little bit old, yeah. <laughs> it's, an, it's an ATI card. Um. It doesn't have a, you know how NVIDIA has their NVIDIA settings control panel where you yeah. can set things up? AMD does not have that. They don't, do they? They do on Windows wanna, and it's never ported it. It's like, okay, and uh, AMD works. I agree with you. But if you want to change a few settings related to the GPU, what do you do? Uh, it, suffer. Yeah, like I am used to on Windows. Uh, I'm used to opening the NVIDIA control panel and setting up the... Anti I want the GPU to handle the anti-aliasing, not the application. Yeah. I want the GPU to enable or disable. Oh, yeah, NVIDIA's tooling is vastly superior when it works. Like, when, yeah. when the GPU's yeah. drives are working. Yeah. on Lin I'm not talking Linux. I'm talking in general. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you can tell the GPU what to do. Enable G-Sync, disable G-Sync, and stuff like that on NVIDIA. On AMD, you're forced to use the driver as it, as it chips. That's mm -hmm. it. And that, for me, who is used to a lot of granularity with, uh, with the system he's using, uh, when AMD tells me, oh, sorry, you, you use the driver as is. If you want to modify it, you need an AMD Pro graphic card or whatever it's called uh, to be able to use the AMD, uh, whatever it's called, driver on the AUR. Yeah. It, gi it gives you a sort of a control panel. Mm -hmm. Or use Core CTL. Core CTL is a sort of a tool that enables you to control the, the pans on your GPU and CPU and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. But it's only, it's only AMD. It's not <laughs> NVIDIA. Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay. So there is a developer who created something to give us a little bit. But all we can control are the fan curves and the RGB so far. Yeah. <laughs> but nothing else. Uh, I'm hoping somebody steps in and creates a, 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 a complex think, control, control panel. I want to say there's a tool that lets you do overclocking as well. I want to say one? that, but I'm not sure. If you figure it out, make a video about it. I'll mm. be sure to, to check it out. I think it's a better than like another tool that... I think it's the... Um, whatever that program is to like manage... Power usage on laptops. Uh, auto CPU frequency control. Something like that. I'll I'll check it out. Oh no, uh, no, different one. I it's one of those tools that you would use, but yeah. Yeah, I, I need a unified control panel that gives mm. me all. To, uh, I, I don't know anything that's CPU. unified. That's for sure. If someone can create one, please do mm. because. That's what I'm missing to switch to AMD. Because mm -hmm. I don't like to switch to a GPU that works, but uh, with which I have zero control. Yeah. So I need control. Mm -hmm. I, I really, I don't overclock. I'm, I don't need overclocking. Overclocking is not my thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I overclock once, I fried the motherboard. Uh, so yeah. it's, not, it's not my thing. Uh, I just want to be able to control the fan curves. I need to control the RGB. I need to be able to control uh, the power usage. Uh, and stuff like that, all under one single application. I don't want to have mm -hmm. to open six different ones just to be able to. Yeah, yeah. So give me that, I'll switch to AMD. Don't give me that, I'll stick to NVIDIA because at least with NVIDIA, I can control the, for example, you know, uh, as an AMD user, you have to configure, uh, uh, you have to set a, uh, edit a configuration file to disable Terry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And NVIDIA is just a tick box in the settings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, force compositing and stuff like that. So, check, check that checkbox, you're done. Uh, with AMD, oh, you have to hunt for the configuration file. Yeah, you change a config file, or you can like edit it with um, XRender. Yeah, so you have to do all these things just to disable Terry. Mm. 
I'm like, no, I need a tool that just gives you a tick box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So simplify the user, uh, the user's experience. Don't make it more difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's the re that's the only thing I'm waiting for before switching to fully switching to AMD because my upgrade, my next upgrade is in 2025 for my yeah. system. I bought that system in 2021. Mm -hmm. In 2025, I give it four years, uh, and I upgrade my system. I don't buy a new system since I am on an uh, on an AMD system. Mm -hmm. I can jump from 30, the 3600X all the way to 5950X, mm -hmm. and the, my experience is gonna double. Yeah, yeah. My performance is gonna double. My 1080 would be replaced with an AMD GPU, but if if uh, on Linux they don't create that control panel I'm waiting for. I'm sticking to, uh, to, uh, to NVIDIA. Totally fair. So, uh, give me control, I'll switch. <laughs> Not before. That's just me. No, but no, I users, want a control panel as well. That would be very nice. Like, other users, they just want it to work. Yeah. Like, uh, they come to me, they tell me, oh, I have an AMD card, so all I have to do is in install uh, XF86 video AMD GPU, done deal. Mm -hmm. And my games run just fine. Not really, because if you want to control something related to your GPU to get a little bit of boost, you can't. You're mm -hmm. just stuck with whatever. They tell me, oh, you're right. I can get better performance if I was able to tweak this and that, which you can't. Yeah. So I tell the users about the limitation. They don't notice it because they're used to something that just works. Mm -hmm.